Now, before we get into this review, you should probably shoot it because this is a very fun gun to shoot. So, the KUSA KP9 is a direct blowback weapon. It is chambered in 9mm, feeds from a proprietary magazine that works with the Vityaz as well, and it is overall just a very cool weapon. So we're going to do what the Marines love. We're going to go tip to butt. So starting at the very tip right here, we have, <laughs> we have our muzzle device. So to be clear, um, this is not the muzzle device that comes with the weapon. This is a Delta Tech muzzle device. And um, the uh, muzzle device that does come with the KP9 or the KR9, if you have the rifle version, um, is the pretty much an exact replica of what comes with Vityaz. And that is kind of a cool thing about it. But we wanted to include some products that are currently in use with Russian Special Operations. So we use the Delta Tech. So the Delta Tech is, it is a flash hider. And uh, the question is, is why is that flash hider so big? Because for example, we have a flash hider on this MP5 right there, and this does a very good job of keeping flash to an absolute minimum. So why is it big? Well, I mean, the best way we can describe it is with the meme, it's just Russia. You know, if, if, if small flash hider good, big flash hider much better. And that's pretty much what they, that was a bad impression. That's pretty much what happened with Delta Tech, and it does do a phenomenal job of complete and utter flash elimination. So if you want to come in here and kind of take a closer look at it, you can see that we have ports along the sides. You can see all the muzzle burns coming out there. Um, under nods, this is a zero emissions of muzzle flash uh, type weapon. So it is very awesome to shoot under nods. Um, it is a very cool muscle device. Um, they're not too hard to get a hold of, so definitely go and check those out. Now, one way that the KP9 does differ from the Vityaz is in, of course, the thread pitch. We have half by 28 on this guy right here, and on the Russian version, we have their crazy Russian thread pitch, which, of course, wouldn't be very good for you guys because that means none of your suppressors would fit this, and this is an awesome, awesome suppressor host. So uh, I'm glad that they did not uh, have a crazy thread pitch. So we have that there. 